We're actually going to see an inkling from Fallen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Fallen kind of known for that Rosalina and Luma throughout the history of Smash 4. Um, and, you know, a fantastic player. What do they say? Like five time PGR Fallen. That's kind of like the. Six, the maybe. Hey, six? All, he made that all time PGR. Too. Oh, that's, that's, true. That's six lists. Yeah, so, you know, like. We count those. And S2H in his own right, I, you know, we, you and I both played against this guy a lot. Not too much. Really, really, <laughs> really annoyingly good player. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, here he is playing against Fallen. See what they can do. Right off the bat, you know. S-Switch is kind of showing that he's seen some of these ledge trap games weaving his way through, but Fallen's still able to attack on some percent. Yeah, you know, so I, I, I'm a nickel player myself. I have had a, a, a bit of experience in this matchup so far in, in, in Smash Ultimate, and I do have to say, I think Inkling does well, uh, but you have to understand is Meta Knight has like some pretty wide hitboxes like that. That Tornado, these up air strings, like we're seeing, that can actually uh, keep, like when Inkling is in disadvantage, Man, I does a really good job of keeping him there. Yeah, and we're seeing a much slower paced game than we're used to. Uh, you know, with Inkling players, sometimes you see them just kind of going crazy, using their hitboxes, you know, doing safe stuff on shield, but these right. guys both kind of taking their time spacing, waiting. That makes sense. You know, Fallen, he, he was known as a very technical Rosalina and Luma in the previous title, um, and he was very slow, deliberate kind of play styles. S2H is known for the same sort of thing, so they want to see like, a lot of like mental like chess right now. It's 40. Smash ultimate chess. Oh, but please the roll. That was good coverage. Ooh. Okay. So like both players have like you know uh, failed to drop first blood so far. Like, I think like whoever breaks the ice, it's just like a mental advantage in the set. I don't know about you. Up oh, oh, this is it. Barely misplaced that. I like the drift mess to age though. Like what good knowledge of the S match. Yeah. Like please don't hit me, dude. Like two kind of two with punishes in a row from falling there. Let's see if he can. Uh, Bring it back together. S2H, uh, he's got to stop putting himself in this situation. So that's the thing. Just the cape back onto the platform. That's really cool, actually. That goes up there. Okay, man. So both players still as risky. Up smash gonna do it. So Fallen able to drop first blood. Uh, let's see if he can run away with it. Now, now you know, as the lead, as Inkling, it can be very great. You can really uh, space Meta Knight out, force him to approach, and suddenly you find yourself in a very advantageous position. Yeah, and the whole thing is like, SUH is the one who has to commit, so Fallen's just kind of taking his time waiting for him to do something on the field so that he can punish it. Okay, unsafe dimensional cape. Oh, yeah, okay, so that was a true combo, like that up air, that up throw into up air is a true combo, but Fallen's a little bit too late there. Let's traps. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you see, you see the way Fallen's playing. It's like, he's really just spacing so carefully as he traps the landing. But like he's really making S2H like have to commit, you know. And he's playing so safe, like he's he's saying you come to me the entire game because he's up this stock, right? And so because of it, he's living to 150. Yeah, man. Look, it's your prerogative. If you want to hit me, yeah, I don't go for to, it. I don't have to go in. Okay, good on smash though. Calls out the short hop. S2H able to answer back. Two stocks apiece. And I do want to say, you know, the kind of the meme, uh, maybe not meme. That's not the right word. But the, the the story told so often is that Inklings really struggle to kill. And, uh, you know, a big saving grace in the matchup for Inkling. I guess a lot of characters, oh, he does it. So, yeah, at that time he wasn't struggling to kill. No, not at all. <laughs> but, yeah, Inkling needs to find that. Because in this matchup, like the Booyah, the guaranteed up throw to up air, there's only a 3% window against Meta Knight. It's 102 to 105. So, like, at Fallen's going to have to make plays to take stocks like we just saw off the roller. Okay. I don't know, man. Fallen's looking pretty good right now. Yeah, he's definitely running. He's looking pretty good right now. Fallen. Oh, good, good mash. Out. Yeah. I like that. Okay, man. Fallen with so much momentum. As SOH at 140. Oh, that bathroom that is going to be the one. Oh, that was super good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, really good call out. You know, like, calls out the normal get up. Right. So, he, but he kind of baited it a little bit, right? He did the dash dance in place and roll range. And yeah. He kind of dashed in, rolled to the ledge. Right behind him for the normal get up, scooped him up, put him behind him. Yeah, so I really like what, from what I saw from Fallen. You know, he played that first stock so safe, and the rest of the the entire game, he was able to dictate the pace of the matchup right. by saying, "Look, man, I got the lead. You approach me," and he was able to attack on damage, and it just kind of snowballed. Like yeah. you saw, Switch was really never able to regain momentum. And when you're in that position, when you get to choose whether or not you're being aggressive or defensive, there's so much more to the mental mix-up game than just trying to go in and hope you're, you know, that you're going to call out the correct option against them or try to read an option, that kind of thing. Okay, man. 
So this is SOH's time to answer back. I did confirm this is the winner's finals of their pool. So, you know, this is uh, not an elimination set, but this is definitely like, you know, coming out of pool's winner's side is a great place to be, of course. So both players definitely going to want to come out on top. Okay. I'm liking Fallen's bomb usage, how he's just kind of throwing them up and then covering options to try to, you know, play the defense around it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, like, Fallen's also really using the back air super well. Uh, the back air has a crazy disjoint on Inkling. And, um, you know, is very safe on shield against Meta Knight. We're seeing a lot of that neutral. Like, like we saw right there. Oh, there's a roller. But he saw S2H. Up. He didn't tech. And the reason being is because if you don't tech and you get hit by the roller, you don't get buried. Yeah. So optimally, a lot of the time, the best thing to do sometimes is to just not tech and take the damage from the roller, which is kind of like a, fu a funky scenario. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, run away, Smash. Oh, that could have been a back throw, but there we down go. Down tilt there. That's the scoring, dude. That's cute. I like that. All right, man. S2H just turned with the lead. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, like I said, that window is 102 to 105. So, what, you know, since SOH was at like 130, the up throw up air is not going to confirm. Okay. SOH kind of doing the same thing with his first stock that Fallen was doing last game. You know, he, the difference is that he's kind of getting knocked around a little bit, whereas Fallen was, you know, being able to tack on some damage. Let's see if SOH can get stage control and bring that back. There yeah. Okay, this is scary. Platform reset. Platform oh. reset. SOH. No. He does it! Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. That was like 5% of death. That was insane. So, like, yeah, Fallen re really, that time, got blown up. S2H was speaking, able to utilize. Speaking blown up, that back air is going to blow S2H up, but not before the damage had already been done. Yeah, man. That was uh, that was really sick from S2H. Was able to, like, utilize the the platform for the, the jump reset. That was just nuts. I'm still, I'm still thinking about it, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Okay. Yeah, but I like what you said. Uh, I like what you analyzed because you do see S H right now is is he's he's playing so comfortably. He's like, all right, do whatever. I'm up a whole stock. Like, I'm just not gonna take any risks whatsoever. I don't need to. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, good nair. I like the nair to cover that space, but ends up rolling into the S smash and S H going off stage. You lose stage control, but I mean in this game, like stage control means a lot, right? Yeah. But going for that edge guard is the game, so you always take it. You always take that chance. Okay, that's right, yeah. Out of jumps. He does manage to get out. And so now he's able to play neutral again. Okay. Oh, wow. Reads the dash with the F smash. S2H is oh, that back here, man. He goes that. way out there. He, okay, so what you noticed on stage is that S2H was standing in a really specific space where he could react to any splat bomb. He could react to any roller. He could react to dash tag, like a jump move. He's just kind of sitting there waiting. Yeah. And then Fallen kind of takes that space a little bit, tried to take the dash tag. Sure. S2H walks a little bit to the right and then just F smashes him. And then he gets that edge guard because of it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, he is... Every character has this kind of, like zone, a dead spot, if you will, and most yeah. most characters do. And yeah, Inklings is kind of right outside their F smash zone where where to throw a bomb would be very committal and none of their normals will reach. So yeah, you're right. I, I do think S2H was doing a great job of standing there in the neutral. But we had a game three situation, guys. Yeah, S2H and versus Fallen. This is to see who comes out winner's side. If this game is anything like the last one, whoever kind of runs away with this first sock is going to do some serious damage. Okay, Rapid Jab is such an amazing move because right now, not only uh, is S2H covered in ink, which is, it, all it is is a damage multiplayer. Dude, not only is he covered in ink, his sword is covered in ink. <laughs> that's, that's something I've never noticed. That's insult to injury, dude. Why yeah. you gotta mess up with the sword, bro? What else is he have? Like, it's already pink. Just let it be pink. <laughs> Why you gotta repaint this, the sword, man? Yeah, but like, okay. Up air. Oh, he messes it up. Okay, man, right, right now, S2H has yet to even scratch Fallen. Yeah, this is a... I haven't thought about it until right now, but this this color, the colors they got is not conducive to SWH being able to tell whether or not he's inked up. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Yeah. I wonder, I definitely think, like, the, the meta, the most meta option is to pick an option that's very different than the ink. Well, the, because of it, I mean, there's a color clause in the game, right, in our rule set. So yeah. if SWH was, like, nah, he could just force Fallen to switch colors. What? Yeah, you could do that. Well, couldn't Fallen tell SWH to switch colors? Okay, that's gonna be it. Yeah, he's the character who's being affected by it. So. Okay. All right. I'm not a nerd. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know well, these things slap. 
All right, that's why I'm here. <laughs> okay. I just want to know why Fallen is 50 feet tall. In real life? No, just this is tag, 50 feet tall. Oh, I honestly didn't even look at that. Because he is a tall dude in real life. So he is tall. I thought you were referencing. Okay. Right now we're at 30%. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a, a down throw forward air was actually the what was true. But who am I? This is, oh, I like that, but not able to recognize that he was going to convert off of the bomb there. Ended up dashing to the right to the left. Man, Fallen just seems so Ooh. in the zone right now. That I was fast. going to do it, man. Dude. I love how he's using those rollers because he isn't using it too much. And he's really mixing up his dash dancing and just rollering out of the dash dance. It's super tricky to deal with when you're at that range. It's, it's like a burst option, essentially. Uh, and Fallen getting two early stocks from it. Right now, man, could be paving his way to a three stock. Is he going to do it? He has so much momentum right now. Tech chases with the down smash. Okay. This is actually really huge for Fallen. Yeah, dude. S2H. He's running away with this. Is so far behind at this point. If S2H wins this. Oh! oh that's, if out. you do it, that's how you start. Okay. So we're out of the Booyah window. That isn't an option for Fallen. He's going to have to make a play. Okay, up airs. Oh, I was looking really reminiscent of Town City on game two. Yeah, that, that was very similar. Okay. If, if he gets one of those... I mean, he needs two of them and he wins, right? So yeah. It's very easy, but... Yeah, uh, see, he went for it. He has another window. Look at the spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right now, S2H with a chance to answer the answer back. Okay, up airs. He's got a... No, he's got a... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understandable. That's good DI on Fallen's part. Really good. Recovery from S2H. 142, man. S2H is... The, oh, that could be it. Rolling. Yeah, man. Third time's a charm. Yeah. It's three, like three rollers, three kills. It's like fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Yeah. Third three time, times. wow, something went terribly wrong for S2H. Uh, and <laughs> Fallen, Fallen able to take a game three. Really good stuff.